ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Uh, Evgeny's gonna beat Canelo. I've been saying that I've been I told everybody, like Canelo's second to last fight on his DAZN deal, that will be a that will be with Evgeny in the other corner. And we will win that fight. And then Evgeny's I mean uh Evgeny will be Canelo's opponent for his last fight on the zone. I was in school. I have every time I fight outside in the street. Uh, my adult brother told me, uh, "Why you not try boxing?" I answer, "Why not?" Uh, he coming to school in boxing school and. I start training boxing, maybe one month, two months. After I say him, no, I don't want to in boxing. It's not for me sports. <laughs> I want a football, maybe wrestling. It's boxing, it's very hard. I, I, we first time work in mirror. Uh, I don't like work mirror. I don't understand why. What is it? Shadow box. Uh, maybe after. Maybe after six months, I'll try again. And my first trainer in Grigory Nikolaevich, he told me, you try. If you don't like, go home. And I'll try it, you know, I'm feeling I can. It's um, very interesting for me. Uh, boxing, it's... it's uh, Honor sport and gentleman sport. And I understand. I will be champion of the world. I watching a lot of movie, American movie about boxing. And of course, I I thought I can. I can too be champion. Uh, I'm start training boxing. It's like my dream. Uh, I was amateur. Uh, I'm training 15 years amateur. I have no big confidence, never. I don't know why. Uh, maybe my first trainer uh, not too much work with me. Maybe I was not confident myself. And I'm only feeling confidence when I come in America. When my coach here, Eddie, he believe myself, you know. He believe me. Uh, we start training with him. Uh, I'm first time uh, feeling confidence in America. Man, you know what? Um, I really tried to connect with all the fighters on a, on a personal level uh, because it really helps in a fight, right? It helps in a fight when things are getting tough, and um, I know what personally what they are like and what they might be thinking during during a tough time so I always try to get close to my fighters um, and of getting you know what the, the funny thing is when he first came here he came like so Eden who makes uh, the Grodex bags with his father Alex um, Alex says to me hey Eddie you want you know train some like you know, Russian or U Ukrainian pros, you know, I, I can get some for you. And I was like, come on, man, what? Like, how long have you been hiding hiding this stuff from me, right? So, uh, Evgeny was the, was, was the guy that he, that he got to come up here, and uh, he came up from LA, and I, you know, I said, hey, start shadow boxing. And I watched him shadow box for about 10 minutes, and I said, you know what, I, I could do something with that. I could do something with him, you know? And I just asked him a couple questions about his shadow boxing, and he he was he was I think intrigued by the questions that I asked about his technique and like just the, like little flaws and strengths that I pointed out because I don't he, he said that no one had ever pointed those out to him, um, and I you know I think that that that's why he he had faith that I was going to be a good trainer for him. When I first uh, came in America, and I was in a world car boxing and different gym, uh, you know, 
He is a trainer, but I not believe him. I not trust him. When we start, when I we come in his first with Raman Karmazin this gym, and it is it is to speak me. We try work with you. I answer, okay, of course, we try. Eddie uh, say, Evgeny, you good learn. Uh, uh, I understand, it's my coach. I feel I'm confident. Uh, I wanna, uh, I wanna learn uh, American style boxing. Uh, I'm trust him. Uh, you know, we start work with him. Uh, now I'm very confident. Man, you know what? It, it, a lot, a lot of it is is, is his versatility. I, that's the one thing that uh, I think is is an important trait in fighters is when they can do uh, multiple things. When they can fight in multiple styles and it it like it doesn't it doesn't matter whether the opponent is someone that likes to bang or someone that likes to box or if they're left-handed right-handed right it, it, it doesn't really matter because he's got a complete skill set um, he's good defensively and he punches with decent pop not like a one punch crunching knockout power um, but he you know has good technique on his punches puts his punches together and the biggest thing is that he will wear you down because no one will work harder than him. Sometimes we go like, we'll go 10, 15, 20 minutes or 30 minutes rounds. So, so we kind of change it up. So this way, like it's not only um, like they're working on power and conditioning, but it's also like a kind of a meditative way to kind of work and like learn muscle memory. You just have to do it over and over and over without any breaks and when, once you feel yourself get fatigued you try to find efficient ways to make your body work so you can carry that over into a fight. Oh, training camp. <laughs> you know, we have every time same camp. We don't have only one place. We have different places, but for me it's like travel, you know like different city, different style, different... No, Lara have boxing style. We use all boxing, you know? Every camp for me, it's new for me. I'm learn. I'm try learn every camp, you know? It's, for me, no doesn't matter camp. For me, more important, if I'm confident, if, if I'm trust my trainer, it's for me all, you know?